Hey guys, welcome. Today, I want you to join me as I finish this piece. You know, I find myself at a crossroads. Sometimes we are so focused in a goal or a creative path so much and for so long that the meaning behind the goal itself sort of fades over time without realizing it. Instead, it becomes part of our identity. It becomes second nature to us. It becomes a thing that drives us in sort of autopilot for years on end. And it is the only thing we surround ourselves with. And it is the only thing that sort of feels familiar to us. Until we realize years down the line that we have no idea what we were trying to achieve in the first place. The crossroads sort of usually takes place when life catches up to us, demanding change. Forcing us to decide if our current path is the right one or if we should welcome a new path instead. The thing is, change is scary on its own, but when a goal or creative path becomes part of our identity, change can be more heavy than we are ready to admit. Most of us probably will be taking a back and will try to convince ourselves that our current way of going is working. Convincing ourselves that change is not needed or that there is still some untapped potential to the old ways. After all, you never got to realize the goal that you set in the first place and you still want to see it through to the end no matter what. The reason why it is important to always have in mind your core values or ideas behind why you want to be an artist or the reason why your dream projects are so important in the first place is because this gives you the flexibility and understanding that just because the goal changes, it does not mean you have to give up the things about your work that you love. Sometimes we are right. The path that we have created for ourselves is indeed working. And it has a lot of potential. Maybe change is not needed after all. But if this decision is coming from fear of change, from fear of mourning the hours invested in it, or from being unwilling to be flexible, then I want to encourage you to look within yourself and ask yourself where this reaction is coming from. And if this is something that will be beneficial for you in the long run. Sticking to a single path, unwilling to give other potential life-changing opportunities an honest try will absolutely harm you. Working on a single path with unwavering resolve is commendable, but if it becomes something that is now draining your life and harming you in more ways than one, sticking to it to the bitter end because you have invested years in it already will be so much worse than you can imagine. Sticking to one specific path and being unwilling to experiment with your own work will absolutely freeze you in time and you will notice your work will never grow or evolve no matter how many years have passed. If you're clear about your purpose, if you're clear about your reason for working so hard towards your dream projects, if you're clear about your why, then it doesn't matter how many times your goal or path changes. It doesn't matter how many times your style changes. Your core, your essence, the essence behind the characters and story you dream about will always remain the same. They will always be with you. Changing is not the same as giving up something important. Change is about flexibility. How can you allow yourself to say, I love what I've been doing, but what would happen if I allowed myself to try something new? Change is not about failing. You are not a failure for changing paths, especially if changing paths mean your mental health and way of life will, will improve. Sometimes it is not even about our mental health. Sometimes we think that giving up halfway before realizing the goal is weak or it means that we have failed in our mission. This could not be further than the truth. Life is not linear. Life is forever changing. Life is this weird, weebly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. If there is a voice in your head telling you that you are a failure for changing your direction, then talk to it and say, hey, 
Thank you so much for looking out for me. I know change is scary, but we are going to be okay because you are going to be okay. Especially if you allow yourself to be flexible and you allow yourself to experiment. Inflexibility will cause you to accidentally strangle your chances of evolving into something new. Think of a caterpillar. A caterpillar spent its life being a caterpillar. It does not know anything else other than being a caterpillar. That makes sense. In a way, this is us. We spent however many years doing one thing, being who we are, we don't know anything else other than this. But nevertheless, we keep going on. It is who we are after all. However, to become a butterfly, the caterpillar must surrender everything it knows about itself before becoming a butterfly. They do this by completely melting into a cocoon. To be clear, they become soup. They dissolve into a liquid before reinventing themselves into a butterfly, which is honestly crazy to envision, but it is true. The most fascinating part, however, is that a caterpillar is born with everything it needs to become a full-fledged butterfly. They honestly just heed the call and essentially leave behind the parts of themselves that no longer serves them a purpose. They take the things that do and then mix them with a new kind of identity, a new version of themselves. Allow yourself to be like a caterpillar. Be flexible to change. Even though it is scary, you can go at your own pace and take it as slow as you want, but be flexible. Allow yourself to change and evolve into a new version of yourself. Take the things you like about your work and who you are today and bring them with you into the next step, to the new road. But never hold on so tightly to the past, to the way of doing things, to the status quo, to familiarity. Never hold yourself so tightly to these things that they strangle your wings, taking away your chances to fly. <laughs>